Hello and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we're going to be taking a look at a puzzle called Covert Confinement by SSG. Now I've done SSG's puzzles before and they've always been extremely high quality and the testers say this is another beautiful puzzle but quite tricky today, although I am very pleased to tell you that it involves a uh, well, a logic puzzle called Nurikabi layered over our Sudoku. So uh, Nurikabi is one of my very favourite logic puzzles. So I'm hoping that I won't be too awful at this. Uh, we'll see in just a minute. I'll read you the rules. Um, first thing I want to do today, though, is to say or give a little shout out to somebody called Kenzie. Now, Kenzie, I think that you're only two years old, if I'm not mistaken. And your mummy left a comment on one of the videos to say that you quite often wave uh, and introduce yourselves to uh, yourself to us uh, when we're making videos and you're watching them. And this tickled us pink, I have to say. So Kenzie, I hope you're doing well. And I wanted to say hi back to you. And um, I hope you enjoy this video as well as some of the others. Um, now, the next shout out is to another young person watching the channel. Now, Aaron, I think that it's your sixth birthday today. Am I correct about that? I hope so. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce your surname. It might be Rawbow, it might be Rawbaw. But anyway, Aaron, you know who you are. And you're over there in Georgia in the US, one of my very, very favorite states. Not that I've been to all the states, but I have been to quite a lot of the states and Georgia is right up there. I have spent an extremely happy few days in Atlanta where I got to go to the Civil Rights Museum, which is just blew me away. Um, and yeah, Augusta, Georgia is one of my favorite places in the world as well. Um, anyway, Aaron, I hope you have a fantastic birthday and lots and lots of cake, of course. Um, yeah, now speaking of, uh, well, not speaking of it, but thinking about, um, what's going on around the world. Um, uh, we, Mark and I are actually meeting somebody in real life tomorrow that has something to do with cracking the cryptic. We're going to have lunch with Codec up in London. This is a great treat for us. Um, I think it is our first real life interaction with a viewer constructor great of the Sudoku world that's, you know, that's come through cracking the cryptic. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a treat, you know, with COVID, obviously, we've not been able to do anything like that. So we're going to meet Codec up in London tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that greatly. Um, other than that, just uh, just to tell you, well, I mentioned this yesterday, 1st of June, we have got two incredible Sudoku packs coming up for you on Patreon. These are Japanese sum Sudoku. So those are the ones that you get a picture once you finish the puzzle. We have two packs full of absolutely, well, it's a bumper crop of puzzles made by Panthera, The Asylum and Grockles. And yeah, there's going to be two competitions running from the 1st of June. So look out for that. It's coming very soon. Now, all that said and done, let's get on with covert, covert confinement. I don't know why it's, uh, why would it be covert? I'm not sure, perhaps because we don't know the solution yet, but these are the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Nurikabi, shade some cells in the grid such that all shaded cells form a single connected region and no two by two square is fully shaded. Each unshaded region must contain exactly one clue cell. Okay, so I think I understand that. So that means we've got to we've got to put some. Let's make them grey cells in the grid, and wherever we put the grey cells, they have to connect in such a way that you never do that, because that little area there would contain a two by two region of of, of greyness. And we can't be overly grey in our puzzles. Um, now, and each unshaded each unshaded region contains exactly one clue cell. So that means I think we'd have to do something like that, and we'd have to so, so to keep these two apart. And is there any restriction in two by twos of unsh no? So the unshaded regions can be any shape. I think um, just so long as there's only one unshaded cell in each uh, in each unshaded unshaded clue in in each unshaded region and this is still not going to add up to the right number because I've got I've got this has got too many cells to be 36 which is why it's annoying me but anyway let's uh, let's reset the puzzle and I'll continue reading the rules um, now the next bit of the rule says build your own x killer 
and each unshaded region is an X killer cage. Digits within the cage may not repeat and must sum to the total given in the corner of the clue cell. OK, I can see those. Additionally, the digit placed in the clue cell must equal the number of cells in the cage. So that is interesting. And let's finish reading the rules, then we'll talk about that. So it says, odd, cells with grey circles must contain odd digits. Well, there is only one cell with a grey circle. So all we know at the start is that this. We could do that and get a pencil mark. And Mark would probably do that. But you'll never see me doing that. Never. Um, anyway, let's just think about this X killer thing. So that's saying this cell, this is part of a cage. Right, so you can make 29 in four cells, but only with the digits five, seven, eight, and nine. So that's quite interesting for this cage. That means this cage is at least five cells large, because if you were to put a four in it, that would be saying it's a four cell cage and we can't make four cells add up to 29 if one of the digits is a four. Now, if on the other hand, if this was a five, then we could have a cage that looked like this, and these four cells would have to add up to 24, and that's perfectly possible. And we can't repeat digits, so we'd have to make that 24 up without using another five. So there's two sort of interesting rules. We're gonna to have to build our own sort of killer Sudoku with a sort of X sums constraint at the same time as worrying about new Rikabi. So yeah, this is, this may take some time. Let's see, uh, but do have a go yourselves. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. And one thing we guarantee on Cracking the Cryptic is just a world-class puzzle every day. So yeah, if you've got some puzzling time to spend during your days, there is no better way to spend it than doing these puzzles that these wonderful wonderful constructors make for us um, but now I get to play let's get cracking and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label every clue cell in some my unshaded color which will be green so these cells all are not gray oh there's, it's very windy here today so there may be some window noise um, right and here's some Nurikabi logic that we can do. So these two cells here must be grey, because if they were green, we would break that rule about having one clue cell in each sort of unshaded region. So that's classic Nurikabi. So now I'm seeing two things. I'm seeing, firstly, I've got to get a green cell into one of those three cells at least. And that's because if I didn't, I would have a two by two of gray in the bottom corner, and that's not allowed under the Nurikabi rules. And the second thing I'm thinking is that I can't take, well, it's not possible for all three of those cells to be green, because then this gray couldn't connect to this gray. So there's a sort of checkerboard thing going on where we've got to make sure we get this gray out. Um, so, let me just think about that for a moment. I can't immediately see how to do that. So maybe let's have a look elsewhere. I'm gonna look at the 29 clue because I started to think about that in the example. This we know is not a four because we can't build it out of four cells uh, if one of those cells is a four. Now it can be a five, we looked at that. It can be a six, it cannot be a seven. Let's talk about that. That is related to the secret. And the secret is something very important when you're solving these nightmarishly difficult puzzles uh, and sometimes some easy puzzles as well. The secret is that any row, any column, or indeed any box of a Sudoku, if correctly completed, will contain the digits one to nine because of the rules of Sudoku. Therefore, we know that any complete row, any complete column, or any complete box of a Sudoku sums to 45 because that's what you get when you add the numbers one to nine. So now let's think about that in the context of a 29 uh, cage, which is seven cells large. Let's draw the cage like that. Well, we would know that if this was a nine cell cage, it would contain all the digits one to nine and add up to 45. So a seven cell cage is missing two digits that sum to 45 minus 29 or 16, which would mean that it, you'd have to make those two, those two digits are different. So a 29 
cell cage of seven cells is missing a seven and it's missing a nine. So it can't have a seven in it. So that is a very long winded way of telling us that this digit is not, whoopsie, it is not a seven. It is either a five or a six. And that is probably not very useful actually. Um, a 12 cage must be at least three cells because we can't put two and 10 into, the, into a two cell cage. It, yeah, it could be four cells actually. Um, is there only one way it can be four cells? Yes, if it's four cells, the other three digits in it would have to add up to eight without repeating the four. So if it's four cells, it's four, one, two, five. If it's three cells, it's three and two digits that add up to nine. Okay, that's not helpful, is it? Um, the 10 cage is, no, that could be two cells or three cells or four cells. So this one is very recalcitrant and doesn't want to yield its secrets at all. Um, the six cage must be a two or a three in this cell because we can't just write six in here because that would imply this six cage has six cells in it and that will add up to at least 21 and not six. So this is two with a four or it's three, two, one in some order. A 36 cage could be eight cells because it could just be missing a nine. So it could be eight. Um, it could be seven, six. It can't be five because the maximum five cells could add up to nine, eight, seven, six, and five is 35. So this cell is a six, seven, or an eight. 26 is at least four cells, five, Six can't be seven because the triangular number for seven is 28. I what's one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven. Um, now, sorry, my phone was just buzzing at me. I just wanted to check that was nothing urgent and it isn't. Um, so this, ah, this, this six must be the same as this six. So that's two or three. And this five is, t ah, that's a digit. We can just write this in. It can't be one, it, well, it can't be a five on its own. It can't be a one cell cage because, because of this X sum rule. So that a five here would suggest that this five cage is made up of, of five different digits. That's not going to work. So it's either two, well, then it has to be a two because three different digits, if they're different, which they'd have to be, would add up to six. So this is a two with a three next to it in one of those cells. Gosh, and actually wherever, well, not wherever it goes, but if it's certainly if the threes were hit either of those two cells, it would be, have a knock on effect. Wow, okay, oh, 28, so I haven't actually put these numbers in. They must be at least four. And they can be as much as seven, unfortunately, because doing what we did with the 29 clue here, a seven cell 28 cage would be missing an eight and a nine and that would add up to 28. Right, so this. Right, I see what's going on here. Yeah, okay. So the key, the, what we have to focus on, I think, is this cell which is actually quite a high number. It's at least a four. But in, in creating this, uh, this region, we're going to have to come into column nine somewhere. Because if we don't, we're going to be able to take this cell, but we're not going to be able to take either of those because they'll connect us with the six clue. So we're going to have to, so somewhere, this cell or this cage is hitting column nine. Now, the moment it hits column nine, what happens? Well, this gray can't get out. So this gray is getting out along the bottom. And that must be, so that means this cage, which is at least size four, has to come here. And this gray still has to get out. Ah, yeah, yeah, here we go. Right, now, we need to avoid a two by two in the bottom bottom of the grid. So this cell must be green, which also means this cell must be green. Now, do we know about this cell? 
Hmm. I think from a new Rikabi perspective, that could still be grey or green. Ah, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, from a new Rikabi perspective, how could this cell be green? And the answer is it can't be. Because obviously, if it's green, it's part of the five. But now our 28 here has to grow. And it can't grow here. It would connect. And it can't grow here. It would connect. So this is grey. And, and this is at least a four. So we, can take th we could take this cell as green. But we couldn't take the next cell, which means this cell is green. Which now means that the grey has to come out here. I love this. I love this sort of thing. Um, now... Now, now this must be forced. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is it. This is going to give us a digit. So now this green region, which is at least size four, needs to take that cell, but can't take this one. So that's grey. This is a four. These cells are a seven, eight, nine, triple to make this add up to 28. This grey has to get out. This grey has to get out. This, right. Now this 26 clue can't take this cell because that's going to trap our 5, because whichever way the 5 would go, it would connect to the 26. So this cell is grey. There's definitely a 3 in one of these cells, therefore. And, and OK, and that is going to affect these. Um, Oh, OK, now this is not a four anymore. So this one needs to take five green cells at least. So does that mean this? Uh, maybe, actually, maybe not. Maybe we don't know that this, this one takes this cell. Um, hmm. OK, so we're stuck again now. Bobbins is the correct response to that. So how do we how do we get this out? Ah, right. Maybe that's not the correct question, actually. The correct question is what is the nature of row 8, column 2? And in particular, is it possible for row 8, column 2 to be a green digit? And the answer must be no. Because if this is green... We can't now have any grey in this region, or that grey will be isolated. So all of those have to be green, and that connects two clues. Isn't that lovely? So that must be grey. And now, this which is at least five can take two cells there, but it must take those two. And that means this grey has to get out, so it's got to come up column two. Um... Oh, yeah, this is really class. Look at this. So now this this grey hasn't got out yet. It's got to come through here. Which means this is not the three that's part of this, this clue. So this is three. This is green. These two squares are now grey to bound our green clue. And that means this becomes a two. Oh, this is gorgeous. Good grief. Right. So where's this six getting its... It needs a two and a four. It can't get the four from here. So it must get the four from there. And that's huge because that's got to be completely framed by greynesses. This, this clue is now forced to be a five. Oh, this is lovely. Honestly, I can immediately tell you that if this, if there was a sequel to this puzzle... Or if this became a sort of popular type of Sudoku, it just works so naturally together. The interaction of the the Nurikabi and the sort of region building, it's beautiful. So these four cells now add up to 23. Um, that this, this, oh no, 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 I was, right, that, that is, that is isolated, that F pentomino there. How does that get out? It can't get out here, so it must get out here. This grey must get out here. So all of a sudden, all of the shading in boxes 5, 6, 8 and 9 is finished. 2 by Sudoku is in one of those cells. 4 by Sudoku is in one of these cells. And... Okay, so I don't know the nature of this one yet. 
and we were building well we were trying to do something here this has got to get out oh yeah okay and this has got to get out so how does this get out well it's not possible that this this green region just comes all the way up there and this is at least a five clue so that means this must be green because if it's not if that cells gray this has to be an eye pentomino at least and it's going to trap this gray in so that cells green and that means right yeah okay so what's going on with this 12 now well it can pick up no it can't actually I was about to say it can pick up this cell but it can't if this cell is green this cell must be gray to separate these two regions and that gray will be isolated so that's gray which means both of those cells are green but we don't know what this is at least I don't think we do do well if this was no that's I was just going to say this if this was six we'd have a problem but we wouldn't actually if this was six we could do it like that and this gray could just creep out here so I don't think we know what's going on there if this if this is a four we know it's got we know it's got ones twos fives above it so the two would have to be there so this would be a one five pair that's quite interesting let me think about that for a moment if this is a four because the other three digits have to add up to eight and can't use four we've got to use one two five and the two would have to be there we can't get a two from anywhere else that's close enough to the four so this would be one five this would be three uh, I can't, well sorry I can't see what's wrong with that so okay so we don't know what this is and I've got a horrible feeling I'm about to get stuck uh, oh can we no <laughs> i was hoping i was going to be able to use you or eliminate two four here but i don't think i do know a bit about fours but not enough all right let's check connectivity then so we've got grays here we know one of these cells we know exactly one of these cells is gray because they can't both be gray yet one of them must be gray to get this out so one of these is gray I don't think I can tell which one. Um, bother, I don't know what I really don't know what I'm meant to be looking at even here. Is this is this me missing something really straightforward? This looks very unconstrained, doesn't it? I mean there's there's five opportunities for this grey to get out along the top. this also looks very unconstrained we don't seem to know a great deal about that whole sort of rectangle at the top of the grid 23 here 23 without using four or five 23 without using four or five is that restricted um, so the digits we've got to make add up to 23 here are ones, twos, threes, six, sevens, eights, and nines. Right. Okay, so we can't have two we can't have two of the digits one, two, and three in this string. Because if we did, even if we picked two and three, the other two digits would have to add up to 18, and that's too many. So there is one low digit in here, and three digits from 
three digits from 6, 7, 8 and 9, which cannot be 6, 7 and 8, so there must be a 9 used. That's, that's at least a little interesting. Um, so now we know, so now we know we've got one low digit. Oh no, hang on, this is simple. Yeah, okay, because I've got to have two high digits in here that are not nine. So I can't use anything higher than six and seven, or I'll have to use a zero. So this is, this is one, six, seven, nine. That's weird. That's weird. 22 and six is 28. Yes, that works. I think that's forced. I think it's forced by some weird um, arithmetic around having to make 23 without using four and five and not being allowed to use six, seven and eight. So, okay, so this, so now that square is an eight because six and seven are in this column. So now that digit's restricted by Sudoku, isn't it? That cannot be one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight or nine. That is a naked single five. Yes, okay, and there's a, right, where does three go? In, well, no, first question, where does two go in this column? It's got to be in one of those two cells because it can't be here. So that's a two, four pair at the top. And now that cell must be a hidden single, that can only, or a naked single, it can only be a three. So three is now in one of these three cells. So if three was here, this would be a four, and that won't work because we know we're looking for a one, two, five. So this is not three. So three is in one of these two cells. If three, I know, we don't know its color though. If it's in, we don't know its color if it's in this one. Okay. Um, wow, right. Uh, what does this mean? So now we've got a five in one of these. We've got to build an enormous 36 cage, which needs to include all of the digits except nine in it. But it's actually a bit, that's a bit underwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> After having to put a big green region up here in all this white space is not very surprising. And so what is this doing, if anything? It's stopping that being 2-8 in that direction. If this is 2... Is there a reason you can't put an eight in one of those cells? No, is the answer. Wow, okay, I'm totally, totally nonplussed by this. It's not at all clear to me. I'm not even sure where I'm meant to be looking. Um, if the 29 was, six cells it would need to have be missing three cells that add to 16 that's not even interesting if it's five cells it needs to be missing four cells that add up to 16 that's only very slightly more interesting and it would still be a very very boring conversation at a dinner party so oh, i don't know what to do oh no come on um, oh, okay, hang on. That cell has seen quite a lot of digits now. What if that's a four? Yeah, okay, if that's a four, that has to be a one. Oh, okay, so we'd actually know the whole sequence here. If this is a four, because this cell can't be two or five, this has to be one, that has to be two, that has to be five, and that would be forced. And this would be a three. It would be a three, and it would need, we'd need to put seven more with it. This would be gray, so this would be gray. Ah. 
So that's mm, okay. That looks very plausible to me. I think that's going to be correct because that just feels so, it's so lovely the way this cell gets forced. And then you start to get greys which have to come out from here. So why isn't this a three? If this is a three, these two cells, yes, it is those two cells exactly, have to add up to nine. Ah. Ah. Oh, wow. Good grief. Right, this is, this matters. This matters. If this is a three, how do we make this domino add up to nine? I can't use two seven. I can't use three six. And I can't use four five because this could be neither of them. So I've got to use one eight. And that is making an eight look up here. Yeah, oh, this is this is right. Okay, so if this is a two, if this is a two, it's impossible to make the puzzle work because if this is a two, we need an, we need to put an eight in one of these cells. This one cannot be an eight for this reason. And this, because if this is a two. The option for this to be a four isn't, is, doesn't work because if this is a four, you have to put two here to, to give this, uh, we had to, we worked it out, it had to be two, five, one, so that these twos would clash. So if this is a two, this is a three, and this is a one, eight pair, and there is no way to fill the two clue. Wow. Okay. So now this, this is a three or a four. This is definitely not a two. So that gives me a 3-4 pair in column 1. And these two cells are either a 1-8 pair like that, or if this is 4, it's very specifically a 5 here and a 1 here. So these are quite restricted. But what does that mean? So this is, this is a three or a four. If it's a three, this becomes two, five, one, four. And if it's a four, this becomes a three with a one, eight here. And I've got to put, I'd have to use four, three, two, and one in this cage. Wow, that doesn't look, that doesn't actually look that difficult. So, oh, I can, is it something to do with the fact I've got to get not just this grey and this grey, but, but, but these greys have to connect to this grey. So we're going to have to come, there's something here that's grey. One of these at least is grey. Is that important? That's a good question. Um, ah, right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've just noticed that if this is two, I can't put the four in either of those two cells, because that's going to break that cell. So if this is a two, we have to put two four into those two cells. And that's going to make this at least a five. I don't know, I can't see why that breaks. Let me just have a look at that for a second or two. So if this is two four, now, in order to connect this grey to this grey, all of those have to be grey. Oh, right. Now, this might be problematic. Let me check this. OK, these all have to be grey to connect these up. Now, look at this now. This is not now able to be a four. This is at least a five. And it mustn't hit any of these other clues. 
So how do we do that? We can't take this cell with it. It's impossible. It's imp but there's not enough room. Good grief. Right. If this, yeah, if this is a four, because that puts this up to five, now we can take a couple of clues. We can take these two without cutting off this gray, but we can't come into this column at all. It's impossible. It just breaks. So that means that this can be a four still because this is not a four. Um, so this is not two four. This is a three. So that means we need to add one and two to this. Oh, that's so un underwhelming. Oh, no, no. Okay, three goes here by Sudoku. So three is in one of those two cells by Sudoku. Oh, this cell is... Oh, that cell's odd. Okay, that's useless. One, seven, or nine. Still all the odd numbers available to it. Um... So this needs a one and a two. The other thing I was just wondering though there is if I make this cell green, do I always run into a problem with this? Because even, even if that was a four, I was noticing that didn't look very appetizing. Yeah, you can't do it. You can't do it. Okay, this cell I'm going to claim is grey because if it's not grey, if this is evergreen, then uh, no, it's not some sort of fur. But these cells would have to be grey. This has to be a could, well, it could be a, as little as four. But I mustn't cut this grey off. So where do I go? I can do this one. That cell's fine. But the the, the fourth cell is either connecting me down here connecting me here or it's here in which case I've walled us I've got a wall now of green I've got wall green I can join this gray up to this gray but I can never get that this gray combined out and over the top of the grid so this is wrong um, and that means this cell is gray and that means that means that we've got to take at least one cell in the top row. So if this is green, this is a one. In fact, if this is green, I've it flying past outside. If this is green, that cell is a two. So maybe that's the point. Can I prove that? Right, let's try something here. Right, if this is grey, whoa, 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 not that. Um, hang on, I've made a right holix of that. <laughs> this is definitely grey. Right, if this is grey, what happens? And the answer is, I've got to connect a one and a two to this six clue in box one. But now how do I make this clue work at all? Because you would, it would have to be those two cells, because otherwise I'm going to isolate a grey here. So these would both be green. And now this square, well, I don't see how that can be. A, oh, no, uh, no, this can't be a four. This would have to be a three. And now I need to add two cells to this to add up to seven without using. Well, how, well I'm going to have to use this cell. And then I'm going to have to use this cell. So these two cells would have to add up to seven. And I seem to have an eight in one of those. I don't know where that's from. Oh no, that eight pencil mark can go away now. That was that was if this was a two. But anyway, how do you make those two cells add up to seven if you can't use one, two or three in them? You can't. That will not work. So that tells us that it tells us a couple of things it tells us that we can get rid of still get rid of those eight pencil marks but we must take at least this cell as green now this cell which in this is in this cage so it's a one or a two and it can't be a two so that's a one ah ah now 
where is the 2 in this region? Because it's not there because of that cell. So it's in either of those two cells is a 2. So that's a 4. That's a 2. Uh, I thought that was going to <laughs> yield some sort of epiphany, but apparently not. Uh, yeah, okay, two, 2 is in one of those cells by Sudoku. Just noticed that that was available before. Um, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> this is very difficult to... Even, I don't know if I even want to pencil mark that. I want to try and remember that what, there's a 2 in one of these two. If that's a 2, do I get into trouble? Then I'd have two greys there. I'd have to have a grey here. Not quite. I think this could be 3 with a 1, 6 pair. Oh, although that doesn't look good, actually. I'm not, I'm not convinced that's right. If this is a 2, then to, for our new Ricabi, all of these have to be grey. Which means this grey has to get out, so it has to come here. Now, this cannot be a 4 anymore. I'm a oh, is that true? Uh, if this is a 4, how does it... How do we give it a two? Oh, I don't know. Hang on, this is confusing me now. I can't. I could never come to. If this is a four, I mustn't. Tra I mustn't connect it with anything else. It gets very, very cluttered. I probably have to take this one. I'd have to take this one. I'd have to take that one. That that is the only way that can exist. And that can't work because I can't put a two in it into it. Now, if I don't take this top cell. And I try and come out here, for example. I'm going to isolate grey. If I come here, this can never grow. It's, it's just impossible. So, if this comes into here, this is a 3. And therefore, that's green. Which means this can't be a... F which, which is a problem as well. Yeah. So, we've worked out if this is a 2, this cannot be a 4. It has to be a 3. But that makes this a 4, which means we know this is a green 2. And now this can never grow to size three, so it doesn't work. Wow, that's not easy though. That really isn't easy, but that is not the two. So this is a two. That's huge because that allows us to grayify all of the bounding areas of that. And now, that does absolutely diddly squat. Well, it gives me a pencil mark two in one of those cells. How do I, I think, hmm. ah, ah, right. I think this might all have been a red herring because I've just noticed something quite important about that cell. That cell, if this is a four, what's this cell? And the answer is nothing useful to the four because this cell, if this is a four, this is a three, this is a three, one, eight combo. We work that out. So this cell has a one, a three, a two, and a four looking at it. So, so it cannot be in the green region. So how does that, does that actually restrict it as much as I was thinking it was going to? Uh, maybe. So, if this is a 4, neither of these cells can be 1, 2, 3, or 4. They're seen as well, so they're purple. Purple being my colour for sort of hyper, hypothetical grey. So, okay, so this cell has to be green to get this out. This grey has to get out, so that's going to be forced to be purple. This grey has to get out. This, sorry, this green still has to grow. And now this cell is impossible to be taken by green because that's going to trap in green here. So that cell is hypothetically 
grey, which is the purple colour, which means this cell, that, that cell's green and it's broken. Because now, how, how do you, well, how this grey is trapped in. It's trapped in by a wall of green. That's probably the simplest way of seeing that, actually. So, okay, this, this, this has got really, really intricate. But this is a three now which means that there's a three in one of those two cells. It means that this is four, and that's the thing I'm excited about, because this being a four tells me these digits, which have to be a two here, a five here, and a one here, because that is the only way, no, that way round. That's the only way that works. I think I might, have I just had this miss pencil marked? Yes, I put five here. It should have been here, shouldn't it? Because there is a five there. And yet I knew if this was a four, I needed it, I needed this to be a one, two, five, triple. But that's the one. That's the, the that's the five. I should have had a five in this cell, but I've never used that logic. So I'm not too I'm not too worried about that, but I know it would have annoyed some of you, so I apologize. Now this is grey now. Therefore this is grey to get it out. This is all grey to trap this cage in. Now this must be important. Uh, no, um, come on. How does this, this, oh no, we don't know what size this is still. We know that this, let me think about that actually, hang on. This has got to get out. So is it possible for th uh, that to be grey? If that's grey, these two cells, yeah, that doesn't work. If this is grey, these two cells have to add up to seven and they definitely can't given what's in row one already. So this must be green. Now this can't be green or this grey can't get out. So that grey gets out. One of these two is Oh, yeah, look at this. One of these, this domino is green and one of them is grey. And we can't make the grey in the corner because then it won't connect to its, to its friends. So that must be grey. This must be green. These two cells sum up to seven. So that's got to be a six. Wow, that's a six. That's a one. That's a two by Sudoku. Good grief. Therefore... Therefore, one of these two cells is a one in the 29 cage. This is a seven, eight, nine triple to complete column one. And I feel, I feel like we might be on the right path now. Although, I th I th I'm sure there was a, a a sort of more elegant way to do what I did here and to force this whole, the whole of column one. Um, you'll have to tell me in the comments what that was. So, okay, look, this is a 3-1 pair by Sudoku, look. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be resolved. It does mean this cell's not a five. So there's a five in one of those two cells. This is a three one pair, which could go absolutely in our 36 cage. Oh yeah, okay. The 36 cage is at least size, well, it is size eight. So even if I pack them in, this cell's always green. So does that, and this has to get out, does, oh yeah, okay. So, so how does this get out? That's a good question. That is a good question, finally. <laughs> if this, how does this, how, well, perhaps the easiest way to see it is how is this cell green? If this cell is green, to connect this gray with the rest of the world, it has to connect all through there. And this can never be of size eight. So this is gray. And that's lovely because that now pushes this We've now only got seven cells in box three. We need at least eight. That pushes this over. And now, how do we get this out? Oh. 
Yeah, it's the same problem. I was going to say we have to come through this cell. I think we do. If this cell is green, then the only way this gets out is connecting through here. And now we're isolating uh, an area of size 4, which needs to be of size 8. So this cell is grey. This avoid a 2x2, two two, that cell's green. This is at least 4, so that cell's green. This, yeah, this grey hasn't connected to this grey in the bottom, so that's got to be grey. So that's got to be green. Oh, this is done. Look, this, this now cannot extend or it'll bounce into this one. So that's grey. This has got to be at least 5, so that's green. This is a 5, therefore. This is a 4. These cells have got to add up to 22, so there's a 9 in them. Uh, okay, I can't quite see how to do that. There's probably some more we can do here, but let's just see if we can... Have we got... Yeah, and we've got, we've got a size 8 region here, so all of that gets greened. And that's, that's our new Rikabi done. We've done it. 9. 9 is not in the green region. So 9 in box 3 is in the same positions that 5, five is. So that's a 5-9 pair. Which, which does nothing at all. Okay, what are those two cells then? So they're 6s and 7s, are they? Uh, and that is resolved. Okay, so 6 goes here, 7 goes here. So we haven't put 5 yet in our green region. It's got every digit in it apart from 9. So that cell's a 5 by elimination. Which means this cell is a 5 by Sudoku. Which means that's a 5 and that's a 9. How many 5s have we got in the grid? Loads. With That's a 5 by Sudoku. And that is a 5. And that's all the 5s done all of a sudden. So these three digits are now 4, 7 and 9 is probably interesting. These two squares are six and an eight, which means that's not an eight. These squares here are fours, sevens, and nines, which means this is an eight down there by Sudoku. Okay, so can we can we now do some logic on this cage then? If this is an 8, that's 12. This has to be 14 and has to be 5, 9 because it can't repeat the 8. That doesn't work. So this is 6. This is 8. 10. These have to be a 7, 9 pair. Thank goodness that this isn't causing any clashes. So that's a 4. We still need to put 1s, 3s and 6s in this column. Okay, that's slightly surprising, but that doesn't seem to be resolved at all. Okay. Um, so, where do we look next? It's got to be an 8 down here. We could argue about the nature of... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This cell's not an 8. So we need to put 6 into one of those cells, I think. Is that helpful? No. Uh, golly, okay. Um... Oh, I've not made this add up to the right number, have I? Okay, let's have a think about that. So we know that, oh, we know there's a 1 in here. So we know there's a 1 and a 5, which add up to 6. So the other three digits add up to 23, and they must be 6, 8, 9. Right, so that is not a 7. So we've got, uh, we've got 5, 1. There's no 3 in here, because we, that wasn't one of the options. So this has become 1, 6, and this has become a 3. And this must be an 8, 9 pair at the bottom. Let me just double check this cage now adds up. We've got 7, 12, and yes, it's 29. That's beautiful. Right, so this is not 9. This is a 7. 
exactly. This is a seven. This is a nine. This is a nine. This is an eight. Ah, so this is this is now looking better again. Now these two have to be a two three pair. Somehow that is not resolved. This seven ah is placing seven here. So seven nine eight go in there. So this is not seven anymore. This is not nine anymore. And these three digits over on this side are four, six, and eight. And we can place the four, I see. And we get a six, eight pair. How many fours have we done? Quite a lot. Yes, where does four go down here? It's got to go here by Sudoku, which places a six, which places a six, which places a one. Do some tidying up of pencil marks. Got a one, seven pair here, that looks interesting. A six nine pair here with a six is good. So nine goes here, six goes here. And this four gives me a seven, gives me a nine, gives me a four. That's all the fours done. Quite a lot of sevens done, but not all of them. And these are the O. Oh, where does one go in that box? It's got to go there. So that's a two, that's a two, that's a three. Two in this box seems to have to go here. Three has to go here. Three and one go in and we're finishing off, which is fabulous. So this is an eight, nine pair. These two squares are a one, seven pair. Therefore, these two cells are something else. They are sixes and eights, which is done. Look, there's a six here. And the one seven is done by the one there. And we've got uh, five, no, six, seven, seven and eight into those cells. Um, and these digits therefore have got to be one, six and nine. So what's breaking, that's not six. What's breaking the um, deadly pattern here? One second, let me just stare at this. What have we not used? We have not used, we've used, no, we've used that 26. That's gave us the seven and the nine. Uh, what? <laughs> How do we do this? Um, What on earth am I missing here? There's going to be some really simple Sudoku that I'm missing and it's incredibly embarrassing. I'm so sorry. What is going on? We can... I can't see it. I haven't missed a rule, have I? Um, no, I haven't missed a rule. So, <laughs> as we stumble up towards the hour mark, and I can't do the simple Sudoku at the end, this is just fatigue, it's just fatigue. Um, hmm. I would love to... Is it going to be some sort of skyscraper logic? It's... No. Not that I can see. Is it going to be... I can't see any X-Wings. Is it going to be... Wow, I don't know. I'm now playing around with guessing at numbers to try and see if I can... Because you can actually almost force this in your brain. Um, but the first thing I tried actually worked. So that suggests, why is there a problem with that? Six, eight, six. Well, okay, I can tell you something. That cell is not a six. But this is for a most peculiar reason. And I'm absolutely certain there's something simpler than this here, but I can't see what it is. So, <laughs> let's play a game. I will tell you the 
fiendishly complicated thing I've noticed. And you can tell me in the comments what I've missed here that is simpler. Uh, and I apologize for this, but I can tell you that is not a six. Because if that's a six, that's a nine. And because this, if you make this a six, this is an eight, that's a nine. So you get nines in those two cells and that will not work because you can't put nine into those three cells. So that means this is not a six, this is an eight. And hopefully that does something useful. Well, yeah, okay, that is just collapsing it, isn't it? Which is good, probably. Yeah, that is collapsing it. Good, seven, one, one, nine, nine, eight. And hopefully, yay. <laughs> My goodness me. That was, um, well, it's a quite brilliant puzzle. It, let's start with that. It is a quite brilliant puzzle. I absolutely loved the way that the Nurikabi logic uh, sort of interacted with the killer Sudoku logic. It's so cl classy. And the fact that you sort of have to build out your grey region. And actually at the start, I thought I was going to be done with this puzzle really fast because I could see the Nurikabi logic fairly quickly. But then it really put up a resistance. I couldn't see at all how to figure the... Well, I think originally this could be a two as well, but I couldn't figure out how to do that bit smoothly. Um, but then once we figured that out, all of a sudden the Nurikabi flowed again, didn't it? And it was really lovely the way you could suddenly pinch this eight into this corner, had to get this grey out. That forced this down here, forced that to be a five. And then it was all smooth again until the very last hiccup, which I had where I couldn't do the simple Sudoku. So I apologize for that. Um, but no doubt it will have amused some of you as well as raising your blood pressures. Um, and let me know in the comments what I missed. Be kind, please. I do enjoy the comments when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.